Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Recently I picked up the new DJI Phantom 4 Advance and I want to share with you my first impression of the drone and how it performed. If you want to see the unboxing video, please click the card above. Also, at the end of the video, I want to make a quick comparison between the drone that is going to be released by DJI on August 23rd, 2018, the Mavic Pro 2 in an event called See the Bigger Picture event that will be transmitted live at the DJI website. There has been a lot of rumors and speculations about this new drone and even leaked pictures, as you can see here, of this Mavic Pro 2 before the drone has been even released to the market. The first leaked image of the drone was in a catalog in the UK called Argos. This catalog, which is also an online retailer, leaked some of the images after the See the Bigger Picture event that was scheduled previously for July 2018 was suddenly cancelled and then postponed for August 23rd. However, the catalog was already printed and ready to ship and DJI was not able to stop the information before leaking. But anyways, I want to show you first some sample video from the DJI Phantom 4 Advance so you can see and evaluate how this drone performs and then discuss at the end the Mavic Pro 2 and its leaked specs and compare it to the Phantom 4 Advance. Here's a sample video, I hope you enjoy it and then at the end we'll discuss the Phantom 4 and the Mavic Pro 2. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. My first impression of the DJI Phantom 4 Advance is that really I am blown away. The image quality that I was getting out of this drone was just amazing. And setting up the drone was pretty easy as well and I have no difficulty whatsoever to get it to fly for the first time, especially if you're already familiar with the DJI line of drones. The image quality that I was getting on my tablet from this drone was just superb. The Phantom 4 uses the Ocusin system, which is a transmission system between the remote control and the drone and I can't tell the difference right away between using the Mavic Air or the DJI Spark and the Phantom 4. In some areas where I was always getting interference with the signal of the Mavic Air or the DJI Spark, when I was flying it, with the Phantom 4 I had none. If we compare the Phantom 4 to the Mavic Air for example, the Phantom 4 is much heavier compared to the Mavic Air, and you can tell the difference once both are in the air. The way the Mavic Air handles in the air is much better than the Phantom 4, but it's just a matter of the weight of both drones. Of course, the heavier drone is going to stop less quickly and will handle a little bit inferior to the lighter drone. So let's do a quick comparison between the upcoming Mavic Pro 2 that will be released in a few days and the Phantom 4 Advance. Remember that some of the specs of the DJI Mavic Pro 2 are just speculations, since we don't have definitive answers yet. Let's see some of the specs and compare to the Phantom 4. So the Mavic 2 is expected to be officially called the Mavic Pro 2, having two versions, one zoom version where you can zoom in and zoom out, and another with a more detailed camera for better video imaging. The battery life is expected to last 32 minutes of flight time. The camera sensor will be a 1 inch CMOS sensor, we will also have a newly designed 3 axis gimbal, we'll use the same signal transmission as the Phantom 4 Advance called the OcuSync, price will start at $1300 depending on which model you choose and is expected to have a better performance and agility than previous models. On the other hand, if we look at the spec sheet from the Phantom 4 Advance, we can see similar specs at the Mavic Pro 2. It has a 1-inch camera sensor, battery life up to 30 minutes per flight time, 3-axis gimbal, uses the Ocusync transmission, and can shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second at 1080p. The price of the Phantom 4 Advance could be a game changer in all of this. 
Since as of now, DJI has the Phantom 4 on their website with a price tag of $1200. But recently, and in multiple occasions, I've seen the Phantom 4 Advance to go on sale as low as $799 even on recent days. So what do I think about all of this? I think that the Mavic Pro 2, once it's released, we have to look closely at the official specs and see if it really offers anything different than the Phantom 4 Advance. If size and portability is something that you're looking for, probably the Mavic Pro 2 could be the drone for you. But if you're only looking to get the best image possible from your drone in an affordable price, I think that you have to look closer at the Phantom 4 Advance. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing.